worship, please do check your mobile phones. Mine won't be ringing this morning, it's actually at home. <laughs> Let's make ourselves fully present for uh, this, um, this moment as we gather in worship. So all of the words in yellow, please respond uh, and we'll say this opening prayer together. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of a new day, and that we are able to gather together to worship you. We offer you this time, and thank you for your promise that you are always with us. Amen. And before we sing together, we're going to stand, please, if you would like to, and sing together. Those in the little children's area, as we affectionately call it, there are some things for you to do uh, in a little while. So as Di brings you out to do those, please uh, have a look on this table and then have a look at some colouring down here as well. And you'll gather the theme as we go along, I'm sure. So please stand if you are able as we sing together. Come on and celebrate. <laughs> Father God, parent of us all, 
We know we don't always treat each other as you want us to. Lord God, forgive us and help us to be more loving. There are times when we insist on getting our own way, despite what others feel. Lord God, forgive us and help us to be more loving. Sometimes we increase the tension when we ought to be seeking to make peace. No. Lord God, forgive us and help us to be more loving. Often, we say things which hurt each other. Lord God, forgive us and help us to be more loving. For our jealousy, our lack of respect, times when we won't listen to those we live with. Lord God, Lord God forgive us, us and help us, us to be more loving. And because we sometimes just lose patience with each other, Lord, Lord God, God, forgive us, us and help us, us to be more loving. We are in full knowledge that as we know Jesus as our friend, as we give to him our sorrows from our hearts, we know that we will receive his forgiveness. So may the God of love and power forgive us and free us from our sins, heal and strengthen us by his spirit and raise us to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> and we can stand, if you would like to, we sing again a new commandment I give unto you. <coughs>
Uh, this is the first part, which is um, a bit easier and simpler to understand. But I wondered if the young people might like to come out to the front with Wendy because this bit's yes. got some actions in it. Come on. Can I encourage you to come, come forward and help Wendy do the actions? Hello, Wendy. So, so first of all, you need to look at. Oh, it's fabulous. Oh, we love Lots of love. Laugh out loud. Right, you need to turn first the uh, yeah, green first because we've got some actions. So you need to learn the actions first, okay? So when I say the word love, can you see up there what do you have to do? Everybody's going to do it if you don't mind joining in. Hug yourself. Okay? And when I say the word heart, you make the shape of the heart. And when I say the word soul, you point to your chest. And when I say the word mind, you put your hands on your head. And when I say the word baby, you point to somebody else in the room. So can you remember that? Do you need to face that? Or can you remember? Are you going to show everybody else that? Let's see if we can show everybody out, shall we? Let's give it so a So you ready to listen then? Okay? So, the Bible, we know, has a lot to say about love. It tells you God loves you. It tells you that God wants to love him. It tells you to love your neighbour. But when Jesus was alive, believing in God, and you have to follow lots of rules. Do this. Don't do that. Say this. Wear that. Go here. <laughs> Worship there. Rule after rule after rule. Just a little bit of talk about love. But love was all that Jesus cared about. He came here to show each one of us just how much he loves us. You need to let go of your arms when you've done the love bit so you can do it again. In a <laughs> he loves us so much that he even died for our sins so that we can live with him forever and always. You can have a little break. Don't go away though. One day, the, the rule followers wanted to know what Jesus thought was the most important rule of all. If you could only ever follow one single rule, which one would it be? They expected Jesus to say one of the Ten Commandments, like obeying your parents or keeping the Sabbath, that was the Jews the Sunday, a day only for God. But Jesus had an even better one. The best rule of all, he said, was about love. Jesus said, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. That was the first commandment. And the second was this, love your neighbour as yourself. Jesus turned all these rules into just two simple rules. Love God and love others. When you keep Sunday as a day for Jesus, that's the way of loving him. And when you obey your parents, that's the way of loving him too. Every single rule can fit into these two. It was so simple. Now, what do you think it means it means to love God with all your heart, your soul, and your mind? It really just means that you love him completely. So you just can't say that you love God, love, 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 love God, or just put money in the offering, or just listen to the sermon. You need to love God all the time and in every way. And thankfully Jesus loves us so much that he forgives us when we forget to love him and our neighbours as we should.
which is great news because everyone could use a little more love. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Don't go away. Don't go away. Because I think Wendy's got to ask you some questions. Love 
our neighbour, because that's what Di was talking about, wasn't she? She was talking about love God, love your neighbour, and love yourself. So how do you think we can love our neighbours? Or our friends, even? Got me on the, on the hop, haven't I? Yeah. Well, what about doing nice things for our friends? Who's done a nice thing for a friend? Yeah, but you can always put your hand up to that, can't you? Yeah. So it's not just our neighbours, it's our friends. Oh, I, I tell you what, look at the very nice thing that Hope brought to me today. That will help my body. That will help my well-being. Thank you very much. Thank you. And of course, I got a lovely card, a message in there, I should imagine, and that will help my well-being. It's not always chocolates, like I said. Time is a good thing to give each other, isn't it? So, love, let's remind ourselves, love, heart, soul, Mind, neighbour. Exactly. Well done. Let me go away because we're going to sing now. Yeah. There's some more actions. How about you know this one? Thank you, Maestro. <laughs> Wild beasts, reptiles, birds of the air. 
Then I hear the voice telling me, Get up, Peter, kill and eat. I replied, Surely not, Lord. Nothing impure or unclean has ever entered my mouth. The voice spoke from heaven a second time. Do not call anything impure that God has made clean. This happened three times, and then it was pulled up to heaven again. Right then, three men who had been sent to meet in Caesarea stopped at the house where I was staying. The Spirit told me to have no hesitation but to go with them. These six brothers also went with me, and we entered the house. He told us how he had seen an angel appear in his house and say, Send to you for Simon, who is called Peter. He will bring you a message through which you and all your household will be saved. As I began to speak, the Holy Spirit came. On them, as he had come on earth at the beginning. Then I remembered that the Lord had said, John baptized with water, but you will baptize with the Holy Spirit. So if God gave them the same gift as he gave us, who believes in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I to think that I could oppose God. When they heard this, they had no further objections and praised God, saying, So then, God has granted even the Gentiles repentance into life. This is the word of the Lord. You'll notice that there are some differences between what's on the screen and what they're reading. That's because when I do the PowerPoints, I download it from the internet. And all, it, it's got the same sentence, it's just that the words sometimes are slightly different. Thank you. The second reading is from the Gospel of John, chapter 13, verses 31 to the end. When he was gone, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will glorify the Son in himself, and will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and just as I told the Jews, so I tell you now, where I am going, you cannot come. A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, all men will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. Simon Peter asked him, Lord, where are you going? Jesus replied, where I am going, you cannot follow now, but you will follow later. Peter asked, Lord, why can't I follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. <coughs> then Jesus answered, Will you really lay down your life for me? I tell you the truth, before the cock crows, you will disown me. Times. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So we're going to sing again now, and maybe sing this song prayerfully, but please stand if you're able.
and can cause wounds to fester with long-lasting consequences. This can create a distance between us because we avoid the people who we sense have hurt us. We may not even make eye contact with them or touch them as much as we did. And we probably remain coldly civil and polite so that they are in no doubt as to how we feel. The sad truth is that however much we might deny it, I am somebody's porcupine and so are you. What a far cry this behaviour is from the perfect love which our Lord showed us and which he wants us to show to others. But miracles can happen, we know that, and they do happen if we allow the Spirit of Jesus to rule our lives. Let's go back to the porcupines for a moment. Relationships do happen, even for them. They learn to work out how to get along in order to create the next generation. They learn to touch paws and even walk together on their hind feet in the so-called dance of the porcupines. They put in their quills and they learn to dance together and to love each other just as they are. And that's what we must do with one another. We need to recognise that God chose each one of us. Not just me, but you, and you, and you. We are all precious to him. And if we treat someone with less than the love and honour and respect they deserve, then we are dishonouring God's creation. The scriptures speak of God's dream for community, a community full of peace and love and harmony. God created human beings because he was so in love with community and he wanted a world full of people to share it with. He sent Jesus so that we could learn from him as to how we should live and dance with one another. His way is the way of love. It is a love full of forgiveness and acceptance and tolerance and harmony. It's a self-effacing love which puts others first. It's a love which requires obedience to God's will and God's ways, not our own. Despite the many ways we fall short of this God, uh, fall short of this, God continues to love us and continues to hope that we will change for the better. I believe the pandemic has had a detrimental effect in so many ways. Not least in that many of us have become insular, forming protective walls around ourselves. We have become fearful of being part of community. And that in turn has led us to be less loving and more critical with one another. Many of us are hard hurting and carrying heavy burdens of care and worry to do with health and family and finance to name a few. But we need to acknowledge that we are not alone in being affected in these ways and instead come together in that knowledge and through the love of Jesus that we share be sensitive to the situations people are experiencing and be willing to show compassion, to nurture, <coughs> encourage, help and love them putting them before our own needs and preferences. It's time for each one of us to pull in our quilts and start dancing. Dancing together, getting close to each other, accepting those around us as a member of our God-given community. It's time to truly, truly put into practice Jesus' words to us. A new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. It's time to reverse the effects of the pandemic in the life and the love of this our community. Thanks.
done for that part. And thank you, Di. Thank you for um, it made me think about the picture as well. So Lila I have done a picture this morning. Um, if you girls want to come out as well with your colouring. It's a butterfly. Okay, it's a butterfly. And you know what? Before it becomes a butterfly, a caterpillar is a really messy job, isn't it? I mean, for him, this is beautiful colouring, isn't it? But we know, we all know that it's hard to love. And we all, with Jesus' love, and we all know that life gets messy. So, with that in mind, do you want to bring your colourings out as well, girls? Would you like, ladies? You're back, it's okay. You don't want to bring any out to show? Come on, let's see. Because as life gets messy, you know, we learn to colour in the light. It's just what Di has been saying. Thank you, Di, for your work. Standing from, look at this. Look at the standing front dog. They didn't know they were going to do this. And do you see what happens? We go from an absolute mess without the love of Jesus to the most amazing butterflies turned around. And we learn, we? And we learn to cut up the one cake yours as well. Stand with the girl. Show everyone. Stand and die show everyone and what happens isn't it is that with Jesus love we learn to colour in our lives and we become that wonderful image of God's love to do that we need oh Jay do you want to bring your box out do you want to come out come on you can no? She's got one of those little, she'll show you under over coffee. Okay, she's got one of those things that does that. Anyway, thank you uh, girls and boys. That is absolutely beautiful. Sums it up perfectly. Go and finish off your colourings. And we can only love with Jesus' love if we make him a channel of our peace. Let's sing together.
Jesus, we just wait for your kisses of love. Lord, we wait for that closeness of you. You have to be really close for us to feel that kiss of love. So help us, Lord, 
in our mouths to come to you knowing that you can do a perfect work within us that we could never do on our own. Uh, 
uh, and then in the afternoon we have all age activities with refreshments. Everyone is welcome to that. That's an open invitation to everyone, all age. So do come along to that. Would be really great if you could be here because the girl guides have headed this up, the girl guides and the brides. It would be super if as many of us could be here as we can. So it's all there. Do take one. And um, in, in this song, so it's uh, come on and celebrate. <laughs> Please do bring your gifts forward and you're thinking, when did we've already said that? We've already sang that. Come on and celebrate. Why are we singing it again? Because we're going to go out this morning circled in God's love and thinking about all those things that we saw on the screen and that I share with us, with us all. So let's stand and sing our final song. Come on and celebrate. Well, <laughs> no, I'm making my book. 
Even three is too many. I exaggerate. Even three is too many. It'd be great if we could get people coming in and just having to concentrate on one job each. And that's not happening at the moment. So love is a doing word. Anybody else wants to come out the front or shall we just have a pack? It's Rod's birthday today. Uh, we know. We've done all that. Oh. It's Rod's. It, look, we haven't sung yet. It's Lynn's over here. It was Dorothy's, I believe. And it was Jade's as well. Anybody else we need to be singing to? And I promise I'll bring a big tub of chocolates next week. <laughs> I will. And you'll be able to taste and see that the Lord is good. Let's carry on then. Uh, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. God bless you and keep you. Happy birthday to you all. God bless.